in downtown Deland, the historical feel, uh, how uh, things are perceived, you don't want to lose that historical character. You want to accentuate it. And, and we did that, and along with providing the perfect blend of modern conveniences, I mean, this is the most unique home that I could uh, have hoped for. Picking out fixtures. Now, fixtures, a lot of architects like to know exactly what they're going to use, designers, before they begin. But I like to see how a space starts to work out. Uh, for instance, the chandelier in Unit 500. Uh, I kind of chose something that kind of mimicked the spiral staircase. Going into it, I kind of thought, okay, I'm going to go with a real industrial feel because this was a real industrial space to start with. Uh, it was an old uh, paint and glass store, a lot of uh, old steel, and I wanted to highlight a lot of that. But uh, sometimes you don't want to dig yourself into such a, a niche that 10 years down the road you're completely changing uh, a lot of the features because it's not a style anymore or uh, people have just overdone it. So I try to find that blend of what can I highlight and what can I add as newer, modern, timeless sort of features of the space. I knew we wanted to have an open space. Um, just because this east and north wall face is completely open to the sun, I wanted to highlight that. I wanted to bring the windows all the way up and invite daylight into the space. Um, we definitely pulled that off with probably 18 foot glass on, on both walls and we didn't hinder that in any way with the glass railings it just shines light into the living room and I'm really happy and proud the way that came out. The kitchens are, are beautiful. They they have the open design, the huge islands that people love to gather around during family holidays, parties, events. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the way those came out, the granite that I've chosen and that is another feature I really enjoy. I love the uh, induction cooking system. We went with exposed duct work to, uh, along with the HVAC. The two homes that we finished here are appealing, can appeal to two uh, completely different uh, buyers. Um, we have the two bedroom um, up front. It's a larger space. I added some similar features that I just couldn't get past. I wanted the solid wood fan, ceiling fan. I love the, um, the stained concrete floor. So there's a few features that we shared and a lot of features that I wanted to differentiate and, and kind of be unique to each space. But one thing they both share and is just as much a highlight as anything that's within these walls is downtown Deland. Um, and the fact that you could walk a half a block to 7-Eleven and get milk when you run out of milk, that you could walk uh, a half a block to the most amazing sushi or Greek food, um, and you could do your banking a block away, you could pick up your, your prescriptions one and a half blocks away. We have doctors, chiropractors, dentists within blocks. Uh, you don't need a car down here. As amazing as these places are standalone anywhere in the country, the added value of downtown Deland is, is just going to take these blocks, these homes to the stratosphere. With what we pulled off here in these two lofts is, is just going to blow people away when they realize uh, what the land has to offer and now what the land has to offer in the form of residential ownership. This is the land's first residential ownership opportunities and I'm really excited to get the word out. They've just been completed last week and we're super excited.